The Romanian MEP Roxana Minzatu is her country's designated commissioner after her government changed candidate and put forward a woman. The move is in support of Commissioner President Ursula von der Leyen's right for gender equality. She asked each country to send a man and a woman for her to choose from. Romania is seeking an economic portfolio and Bucharest believes the former Minister for EU Funds and Secretary of State for Procurement is the right fit in terms of competence. Yeah, we're looking at, uh, at, the, at the competitiveness of the European Union and uh, you know, all the uh, tasks and objectives that lie, lie ahead because we're uh, obviously in a moment where in the global competition Europe needs to do something, needs to re-industrialize. Uh, uh, President von der Leyen has uh, taken on some, some ambitious goals into this direction with the re-industrialization, the clean, green re-industrialization of, of Europe. Only around a third of EU countries have sent women, including Spain, Belgium and Bulgaria. The majority of others have, for their own domestic reasons, defied the request by Ursula von der Leyen to promote gender balance. Von der Leyen's last cabinet was nearly 50-50 men to women. Minzato believes the imbalance is in line with the rise of far-right nationalism across Europe. On different dimensions. The numbers are poorer than they used to be, if you're, which goes to show that you think you have progress and it can be reversed. It is probably also a, a photograph of the, of the atmosphere and of the spirits of societies in which, as I've said, politicians are not making enough effort to put this on the agenda. I've often explained that the lack of women in public authority positions is directly related, in my opinion, with gender-based violence. Because it's a mentality, it's a bias that exists that women are vulnerable, that they are victims. And this is enhanced by the fact that authority positions are male almost all the time. Ursula von der Leyen is due to announce her nominations for commissioners on September the 11th. After that, each designated commissioner will be scrutinized for their suitability by MEPs at the European Parliament later in the month.